this is the ingredient that we are using for today. We are making some sea bass. Uh, so for the fish, right, uh, I'm using sea bass today. Uh, feel free to use any type of uh, fish that uh, can be pan fried. So uh, to make the sauce, right, we are using the parsley, some chopped parsley, minced garlic, uh, apple cider vinegar, oregano leaves. Um, so that's it for the, and some icing sugar, yeah to uh, even out the taste. Uh, whereas for the fish, right, we just need to season with some uh, sea salt and some black pepper. Yeah. So the side dish for the mushroom, right? Uh, mushroom, we're going to have some, I'm using fresh shiitake mushroom and I'm also using some garlic and parsley, uh, red bell pepper. We have some uh, garlic. Yeah. And then lastly, if you have some parsley or spring onion, you can have some English parsley. Uh, as garnishing yeah so um, actually very simple ingredient that we are using today so the first thing before we start right I'm going to make the sauce uh, because the sauce you should uh, make them ahead like at least one hour in advance before you eat but if you want it to be better tasting store them in the fridge overnight yeah two and a half tablespoon of uh, apple cider vinegar and we need some garlic so I'm going to add in all the garlic because uh, I'm, I'm going to make a bigger batch of the sauce so that I can store them in the fridge yeah and I can use them later and then uh, some olive oil and then some oregano about one tablespoon of oregano and I want the garlic taste to be a little bit stronger so I am going to use some garlic powder I have some garlic powder here so I'm going to sprinkle about one teaspoon of garlic powder and then just mix them so this can be uh, kept in the fridge up to about uh, three days yeah, because we are using fresh garlic so don't keep them in the fridge for uh, too long and then some icing sugar uh, the reason why I'm using icing sugar instead of um, white sugar right because it's easier to melt yeah and we just want to balance up the sourness taste crack some sea salt not too much and then we will need a little bit of heat so uh, let me see I have some uh, chili flakes. All right, we're gonna use some chili flakes. I have some coarse black pepper. Mix them together. So our sauce is ready. I'm gonna um, put this aside, and then uh, we're gonna pan fry the fish as well as. Um, the mushroom so before we pan fry we're gonna crack some sea salt we're gonna season the fish with some sea salt and some pepper so today I'm actually using um, sea bass All right and then some pepper also so the fish uh, will take about only a few minutes to cook. Right. Steam down and then let it fry for about one about two minutes on each side. So make sure when you pan fry your fish uh, is dry, otherwise the water when it comes in contact with the oil, uh, it will actually splatter a lot. So smaller one you probably have to keep already yeah okay you can see it's a little bit golden brown on one side already you just want to cook a little bit more on the skin so now the fish is done so let us uh, dish it out, take it, take it out. 
Turn off the oil and then add in the garlic. So cook the garlic until it's a little bit fragrant, like a little bit golden brown before adding in the mushroom. Alright, so now um, if the heat is too high, remove them from the heat so that you don't burn your garlic. I'm going to add in the mushroom now. So let's uh, pan fry the mushroom and then uh, we will add in some butter. So obviously everybody knows that you know uh, butter, mushroom goes very well with butter. So we're going to cook our mushroom in some butter. Alright, so mm, now I can smell the butter. We also need to season our mushroom with some sea salt. So crack some sea salt. So mushroom has got no taste, uh, so please be generous uh, with your salt. And then some black pepper also. And then I'm also adding in some red bell pepper for the color so that it looks good. Sometimes you want the mushroom to cook a little bit um, uh, faster, right? You can add just like maybe one tablespoon of water. Yeah. So that um, the mushroom will cook easily. Yeah, but not too much, huh? otherwise uh, it will be very wet, your mushroom. The mushroom is all turning a little bit golden brown, right? Yeah, so that's where you tell your mushroom is ready and then it's soft. It's no longer hard anymore. That's where your mushroom is actually ready. So if you use fresh mushroom, um, it can actually cook very quickly. So we're going to plate our fish over here. The fish that we made earlier on and then the mushroom that we made earlier on this one so we're just going to serve it the side dishes right. and then uh, we are going to garnish with some uh, parsley Alright, we're going to drizzle the sauce. Remember the sauce that we made earlier? This one? The chumichuri sauce. Yeah, give it a good stir first. Alright. We're going to drizzle them, put them on top of the fish. Yes, like that. Oh, looks good, yeah. So this is a very nice tangy um, Argentina sauce. Yeah. So that's it. Uh, our dish is done. Our fried sea bass uh, with chumichuri sauce. Yeah. Hope everybody uh, like this dish. It's a very simple dish. You know. Uh, how long did we spend to cook? Um, I think less than about less than half an hour maybe 20 to 25 minutes to cook one portion like that so imagine you can do this for your family um, like maybe tonight for dinner you can cook this so this is our recipe of uh, pan fried sea bass with chumichuri sauce and a garlic uh, butter mushroom yeah so hope everybody likes this dish anybody even if you don't know how to cook you can make this dish also and i trust me you know it's going to taste uh, very delicious as well all right so we'll see you on wednesday all right thanks for watching in today bye bye bye